Good morning, brethren. Uh, today is Remembrance Sunday when I'm recording this and I've just watched the uh, Remembrance Service on BBC One uh, with that uh, wonderful ceremony at the Cenotaph, which I'm sure, like me, we all find, uh, you all find very moving, uh, very poignant uh, as we remember those that have given the ultimate sacrifice uh, for our peace and well-being. Um, but uh, we had our own uh, service of remembrance yesterday at the Yenton, wonderfully attended, possibly the best attended I've seen. There were many brethren and their partners there uh, and one or two children as well, which was delightful, particularly when one of the young ladies actually placed a, a memorial tile, I think she'd hand painted it uh, on the, in front of the memorial uh, plaque that we have there at uh, Yenton. Very moving moment. Uh, I suspect there were a few dabbing their eyes, me included. Uh, and that sort of topped off a, a great week, really. Um, I've had a couple of fantastic meetings. Uh, Wednesday saw uh, the presentation to excellent companion Richard Wallace. Richard, I'm sure, known to uh, all of us uh, as a past Grand Superintendent and also, of course, the Programme Master in the Mark for a number of years. Uh, and I had the great pleasure and delight in presenting him with his 50-year long service certificate in the Royal Arch, uh, a momentous occasion, and Richard was delightful in the way that uh, we sat and chatted. Uh, it was a, a classic Michael Parkinson interview, even if I do blow my own trumpet, but it was made so easy because Richard had so many wonderful stories to tell and such a genuinely nice man. I'm sure you, if you've met Richard, you'll know what I mean. Uh, it was truly wonderful experience. Well attended, over 60 companions in the rooms at 7th Street. So it was a really great atmosphere there and totally fitting uh, that uh, Richard had such support uh, in uh, his uh, receipt of that long service certificate. Um, then last night, actually, I uh, also had the pleasure of presenting a 60-year certificate for long service in the craft. Uh, it was to a brother I didn't know before we met uh, last night, um, worship brother Phil Collins. So I brushed up on all my Genesis memorabilia and dug out my Phil Collins albums and was really looking forward to a chat. Uh, turned out I'd got the wrong Phil Collins, who knew? Uh, but joking aside, it was a lovely opportunity. Phil was fantastic fun. Uh, really, again, lived a most interesting life and in regaling the whole lodge room with tales of uh, his past uh, and also ex extensive um, Masonic experience, although a lot of it not in Warwickshire, as uh, he's also a member in Northamptonshire and Huntingdonshire. So a busy week. Uh Um, coming up this week, uh, we've got the rearranged Supreme Grand Chapter meeting on Wednesday. That's preceded for me by a Programme Masters business meeting where we're going to talk about uh, our new Programme Masters seven year strategy. Um, so that will be uh, very interesting, I'm sure, and will uh, enlighten us all on some of the aspects that we're going to roll out across our wonderful province of Warwickshire in due course. Um, that's following Saturday, we've got the Mark Provincial Grand Lodge meeting, which I'm very much looking forward to attending to support my worshipful brother, Phil Wills, the Provincial Grand Master of the Mark. Uh, and then into the following week, a number of other meetings all continuing. Uh, it's a busy, busy period right up to Christmas. Um, so when Christmas comes, I'm very much looking forward to a week or two of rest, uh, as I'm sure are the whole of the uh, provincial teams in both the Craft and the Royal Arch. So great fun in Warwickshire, lots going on. I'm really proud of our wonderful province. Thank you for all that you are all doing, the support that you're giving to your lodges. Uh, these are tricky times, we all know that, but with your support and your encouragement, uh, then we know that we'll come out the other side of this stronger and better than ever before. So thank you, brethren and companions, and I look forward to meeting up with you very soon. Can you shake a ball? Shake a ball? See it? Shake a ball? Shake, shake a ball.
This one. Good boy. And this one. Good boy. Anything for a treat, eh?